An update now on a story we brought to you on Monday night. A controversial plan in Ben Salem to make recreational youth programs pay to use school district space. Fearing what it could cost them, parents and many others turned out tonight to make their voices heard. Alexandria Hoff is in Ben Salem where the school board put the brakes on the fees for now. Recreational youth programs in Ben Salem will not have to pay fees to use school district space, at least for now. The district boardroom overflowed with community members. Ben Salem may be a big township, but it's not that big. A decision was made last week to charge local nonprofits to use school space for meetings, practices, or games. A decision that some felt would raise registration dues or force teams or clubs to fold altogether. Factors prompting this work are the cost to maintain fields and indoor venues and fair and equitable utilization opportunities for all of our community partners. Considering the outcry, the school board decided it will push back implementing this change until next year. Policy 707 will not become effective for class three youth organizations until June 30th, 2019 to allow notice and preparation for such groups. Until then, meeting space will remain at little or no cost. I am satisfied mm -hmm. with it, but this is what happened six years ago. Marianne Jaskell, a former swim coach, is satisfied, but questions why the use of space warrants future fees. As taxpayers, um, you know, we just we have the right to know, and I would just like a little bit more transparency. The school board says the district is going to meet again before December 1st to discuss the impacts of a possible decision in the future. Reporting in Ben Salem, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.